Hello YouTube viewers, this is Dijin Jays from the Device Manager. In this video, I'll tell you how to fix the boot error 0xc000098 on Windows 10. The main cause of this boot error is corrupted boot configuration data. This means that Windows was not unable to load operating system because the boot configuration data file doesn't contain any entry of it. This boot error is a blue screen of death error which means your computer will abruptly restart and you won't be able to boot your PC. Hence you are stuck. This is a fatal error as you won't be able to access your PC and all the files on it. But don't worry, we have listed different methods in order to, in order to fix this issue. We will try to rebuild your BZD which will resolve this error and you will be able to access your PC normally. Ok, no need to waste any time. Let's go to the first method. Method 1. Run automatic or startup repair. Run automatic or startup repair. Firstly, you insert the Windows 10 bootable CD and restart your PC. Then there you select your preferred language and after that you select repair your computer. And there you will see in the choose an option you select troubleshoot in the troubleshoot screen you select advanced options in the advanced options you select automatic repair wait till the windows automatic startup repair to complete and after the completion you restart your pc and see whether the problem is fixed or not if not don't worry let's go to method 2 method 2 repair your boot sector or rebuild BCD. Like I mentioned in the first method, you again uh, insert your CD, boot your CD, then you select your language and repair your computer, you select that, choose an option troubleshoot, in troubleshoot you select advanced options, in advanced option you select command prompt. Okay, in command prompt you need to type three commands first one is boot rec slash rebuild r e b u i l d b c d boot rec slash r e b u i l d b c d hit enter it will scan all disks for windows installations and after that that uh, you will see a message like the operation has been completed successfully then you type boot rec slash fix mbr the next command you should type is boot rec slash fix mbr then hit enter after some time again you will receive a message like the operation completed successfully after that you type the last command boot rec slash fix boot boot rec slash fix boot after typing these three commands you will receive the message like the operation is completed successfully close the command prompt reinstall your PC and see whether your problem is fixed or not if not fixed don't worry Let's go to the method 3. Method 3. Repair Windows Image. As I mentioned in the first method, you need to go to the command prompt and enter the following command. After selecting command prompt, you type dism forward slash online slash cleanup hyphen image again forward slash restore health. After typing this command, hit enter, you may see some message showing like the restore operation completed successfully. The component store corruption was repaired, the operation completed successfully. After the message is shown, close the command prompt, restart your PC and see whether your problem is solved or not. And uh, this command prompt, uh, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to complete this particular command. So you need to wait a while. In case if this command is not working, then you type another command 
which I have already given in the description as well as in the video also. If you find it very difficult to follow in the video, I have given it in the description. You can just go and have a check. The command is dism slash image image colon c colon slash offline slash clean image slash restore health slash source colon c colon slash test slash mount slash windows okay if this is not working then i have one more command there is a slight change in it towards the end instead of so c test mount windows and after that you need to give a slash and limit access that's the only change in the second command you try this command only if the first command that I already mentioned in this method didn't work. Okay, if that didn't work, you try these two commands and check whether your problem is solved after restarting your PC. Fourth method is restore the MBR. For this, you need to do the same thing. You need to insert your Windows CD then you select your language preference and after that you select repair your computer then in that choose an option you select troubleshoot in troubleshoot you select advanced option in advanced option you again select command prompt in command prompt in this case you need to type the code not code the command boot sect b o t s c c t slash nt60 space c colon if you find it difficult to follow the command I've given it in the description just go through it okay the command is boot sec slash nt60 space c colon and hit enter you will receive a message like target volumes will be updated with boot MGR compatibility boot code like that like that then successfully updated NTFS file system boot code boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volumes after getting these messages what you need to do is close the window reset your PC and see whether your problem is fixed or not if not let's move on to the effective method that is uh, method 5 run CHK disk and SFC run chk disk and sfc again insert your windows 10 cd boot it now select your language preference and after that you select repair your computer in choose an option you select troubleshoot in troubleshoot you select advanced option from advanced options you select command prompt the command prompt window will appear now in the command prompt you type the following command sfc forward slash scan now s c a n n o w again forward slash o f f b o o t of boot d i r equal to c colon then backward slash forward slash o f f w i n d i r equal to c colon slash windows okay after typing this command you hit enter and you can see some messages is shown don't worry about that now next you type the following command c h k d s k c c h k d s k c colon forward slash R and you hit enter after hitting enter close the command prompt reset your PC and see whether your problem is fixed or not I'm sure in more 95% of the cases by this method the problem will be resolved if not let's go to the final method final method method 6 repair install windows this method is the last resort because if nothing works out then this method will surely repair all problems with your PC repair install just using an in place update to repair issues with the system without deleting user data present on your system so 
follow the video which I have given in the description or it is also given in the video as well just click on it and it will guide you to the video on how to repair install windows 10 easily watch the video follow the method shown in that video and it will definitely fix your problem that is the error code 0xc 0 0000025 on windows 10 if you still have any queries regarding this please feel free to comment please like share and subscribe this is Dijin Jays signing off.